What's up everyone? Welcome back to getting started in streaming. This is an advanced tutorial and I'm going to show you how to set up VBAN, VB Audio Networking. It's a way for you to send sounds from one PC to another over your home's internal network. It sounds complicated. It's really not. We're going to jump right into it. This video is not going to be 14 minutes like all the others, but I will get to you all the information you need to make this work right out of the box. This image you're seeing right here with the waveform in the background, this is my streaming computer. What I want to do is I want to send this song over my network to my gaming computer. So as a way that you can send alert signals or whatever, but music is just easier for people to comprehend. So we're going to be sending a song today. To start with, we're going to click on VBAN at the top. Now we're going to turn VBAN on. Audio works in two ways, outgoing and incoming. The thing sending the signal is outgoing. The thing receiving the signal is incoming. So since this is the server sending the song, we're going to be outgoing. You'll see at the top here, there's an IP address. This 1.50 is the server's IP address. Since it's outgoing, it needs the other IP address of the other computer, which means I need to come over, get my other audio meter, so that's this one here. And we see at the top here that this one says 1.51. So that is going to be the name, the number of the IP address. So 192.168.1.51. The next is the source. We're going to be using bus A2, which means A2 on any of these is going to get sent over the network to this computer here. The next is the stream name. These names must be identical on both the pitching and receiving computers, they have to be the same. So if we kept it a stream one, it will work. But if I call this one, say Sputnik, which is the name of the server computer, it's not gonna work. And I'll show you that later on. Then we have the sample rate. The sample rate you can change at your will. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for this one here because I don't need to. And lastly, we're just gonna turn it on. The last thing is here at the top, you'll see network 6980. That is the network port that it's going to use. If you want to change that, you really shouldn't. But if you want to just come into this blank area and just right click, and it'll let you change the port that way. So we're all good. Now we have VBAN turned on. We have the signal turned on. You see this little green light. That means that the signal is being sent. So let's go to the other computer now and let's get that one all started up. Here we are with the gaming computer. Now you see the T-Rex is in the background. We're going to click VBAN at the top. We're going to turn on VBAN. And since this is receiving the song, we're not going to change the, we're not going to change the name. Actually, we're going to leave that 192.168.1.50. That was the IP address of the other computer of the sending computer. We have that and you can see it says info. If we right click, it says, hey, it's Sputnik. Here's the IP address. Here's the timestamps. Sample rate, we're going to leave the same. Quality, I'm going to put to optimal. And then destination. On the destination, it tells you what actual hardware input do you want to come on. So I'm going to say input three, which means it's going to come on cable C. And then, like we said, it was going to be A2 from the other one, meaning the virtual A2 is sending, but everything's going to come through A3. And that should be good. So it's on A1 right now. I'm going to change it to A2 because that's my speakers. And now I can turn it on, but you'll see nothing is happening. There's no green light here like there was on the other computer. And that's because the names are not the same. So if I take away the name and I do Sputnik, You'll see a green light show up and now we have an established signal let me go over to the other computer and let me start the song up there's a good chance you guys won't hear it only because of copyright but you can see here the waves are coming through and if i turn that off can't hear anything but it's still coming through on input c just you guys can't hear it but now it's on my headphones now it's on my speakers but there you guys go the song is now being played over the network. That's how you set up VBAN. And it works the same way if you want to do your mic, if you want to do other programs. It's just a matter of what is sending, what is receiving, and what channels are going in and out. That's all you have to think about. It's a very simple concept that sounds complex, but it's really, really not. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, hey, hit that sub button. We're really close to 1,400 subscribers. Maybe leave a comment in the comment box down below. 
and I'll see all of you on the next episode of Getting Started in Streaming. Have a good day. Bye.